<laughs> Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. Here's an unpopular opinion. I don't think the Low Pro backpack is the best backpack for photographers out there. Before you click away and before you think I'm of the devil because everybody and their mom has this backpack. This is a review, it is not a dig on Low Pro. This video is not meant to trash anybody at Low Pro or their products. I'm just gonna give you my genuine thoughts and review. This Low Pro backpack is so popular among YouTubers, videographers, and photographers. Lots of YouTubers have reviewed this bag. Lots of YouTubers use this bag. But is it functional? Is it reliable? Does it fit your style? Does it fit my style? And that's what today's video is about. So what do I look for in a bag? Great question. I want portability, reliability, and overall ease of use. It's very simple. And I want lots of space. So that's where I thought this bag came in. The ease of use isn't there, okay? And so what I mean by that is this. I don't like the way that these backpacks open up from the back. I understand that when your backpack's on you, you don't want anybody to take their stuff. But the fact that I have to open my backpack from the back, like the fact that I have to do this, okay? I have to get my lenses and crap, okay? It's on the ground. I do that and then go through all my lenses and all my gear and figure out what I need. This laptop sleeves way up here and this looks because it's just so thin and slippery in there. And when I put it down, like I don't, to me that's not very easy to use. I don't like that I have to put my bag on the ground and this part of the backpack, the front, which makes it look like really cool and out of a SWAT TV show or a movie. And I, I don't wanna dirty that up. I, I don't wanna make it dirty. I like the aesthetic, I like the look, I want it to be functional, I understand. So for those reasons, I can totally understand why they would wanna make it this way, right? Why they would open it from the back. For safety reasons, I get it. This top, it's not as sturdy as they said that it was going to be. I open this up and there's no, at least the whole front. Like I know I can leave a compartment here so I can just use this top space to put storage, phone, cables, etc. But I really want something permanent. Besides its looks, like I said, it looks like you can go grapple down a mountain. It feels good. Like that's one other thing that I do like about this backpack. It feels incredible to have on. It's sleek, it's simple. It doesn't get too heavy, depending on what kind of gear you get. But all the support actually goes onto these straps and these straps are actually well supported, well built for your shoulders, for long hauls and heavy gear. Is it breathable? Yes, it's breathable. I'm on set, out in the field filming. I sweat a bunch and this thing keeps me cool. It's weird to say, but it actually does. And this video is not sponsored. No one's paying me to say that, but it actually does. So I just walked all the way from over there to over here. I don't know why you need to know that, but new shot. <laughs> I gotta say, now that I'm actually holding this once again after like five months of not using it, it makes me want to use it only because it looks so good and it really does feel nice. I'm not saying this bag is bad, just for my needs, it just wasn't fitting. But the more I play with it, the more I actually take it out here, I'm like, oh, I guess I wouldn't mind just throwing it on the ground and grabbing my gear. If I just drag it, I mean, it should be fine. I guess that's kind of the use of these bags to get them dirty, to build character on the fabric and actually just use them. I'm starting to like it. <laughs> Even though this isn't a negative review, it's my overall experience with it. There's these pockets on the side here, on both sides, okay? And they come out like this. I would say they're great for like passports, cards, keys, uh, business cards in that sense, but it's not like I can put a lens. I can't really put anything of significance or of chunk, if you will, because they're just so tight and there's not enough room to fit something that I would really want or need that would I would find useful out in the field. And those are nice to have, but I just wish that they were just bigger on the side so I can just really use them to my to my needs. One other thing that I didn't get about the quality and build of this backpack, that's this. As you see here, this is the full backpack and I, there's a zipper on the side here and I can grab stuff from the side. So if I'm literally out and about and I'm like, oh, there's a cool thing of something I want to take a picture of, I don't know. There's literally the like squirrel over there. I go out, put it to the side, I unzip, grab my camera and I'm good like I'm good to go and I shoot I put it back in most camera bags will have that but to me I don't really use that side as much and I don't find it usable for me you may in some scenarios you may find this very usable and very applicable but I just don't know why it's there like, 
they don't get that side pocket. As far as like keeping gear inside, there's tons of room for all your gear, all of your lenses, anything you need within here. And it's, I mean, it's pretty wide. Like it's, again, nothing that I have griped with. I just, I would want something that I can close up and actually open up from up here, open it up this way and go in there and grab something out versus versus trying to open it up on the ground and doing this, opening up the whole bag and you know now it's out in the elements. Anything can get in my lenses and gear. Anybody can take them, so I don't know. I mean, it still looks cool though. I mean, look at that. It just, it really does look so cool. I've had this for what? Less than a year and there's already some, some, I don't know if you can see that. Right there, some of these little threads coming out. I'm pretty rough on my gear, like, there's some stuff on the bottom here that you can see there's like threading or unthreading, if you will. I'm sure if I really put this bag through its paces, it'll be a lot more wear and tear, but I'm sure the bag would overall keep my stuff safe, and that's what it's meant to do. As someone who is always searching for bags and the best bag and the coolest bag out there, would I recommend this specific bag for photography, video, and video creation? Yes, but also no. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a big looks guy and I love the way this is sleek and I just wish there was better storage uh, and, a, and a better way to actually manage that storage within. And just these pockets to me don't make sense. Like, I don't understand this whole, but if you're willing to shell out three to 400 bucks, then yeah, get this bag. This bag will do you just fine. It's gonna keep your stuff safe, it's rugged, it looks good, and it's gonna work with you and your needs. And whether you're out in the field or studio, it's gonna handle all those things very well. I think I'm gonna go have fun. It's a beautiful day right now. Also, someone stole my shades over the weekend and I'm really, really salty about it because those were expensive Ray-Bans and now I don't have them anymore. And I feel like I'm squinting and I'm like, ugh. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. Give me my shades. back because I can't just walk away and leave this expensive piece of gear here just filming. Great. Bye.